<laughs> We're live. Hi. <laughs> hey guys. I'm Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor, and I'm here with Heidi Easley, Texas Art and Soul, and we are excited. We are going to take some boots for y'all. And Tamara, I'm so proud of you because you wore boots today. Yeah, she's uh, gotten me hooked on cowboy boots. Or do you call them cowboy boots or yeah. girl boots? When you I call them cowboy boots, and I have like 10 pair, and I'm obsessed with them. So we're going to paint some for y'all tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't help but bring these for me and Heidi to paint together. It's got the little flowers at the top and uh, a little boot. And so um, this just makes me think of Heidi. And so Aww. I thought I would bring them and we could paint them together. So Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, and Calvin Boots are my favorite thing to have. So Oh, we got some people on here. Hey, Regina. Hey, Michelle. Okay, <laughs> so what colors are you going to do? Um, I'm thinking, well, do we have brown? Do we even have brown for boots? Or I could do gold boot. A gold boot. We have gold. Yeah. We have a random assortment of colors because we flew here, so we couldn't bring a ton of stuff. And so um, we're just painting with what we got, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> hey, guys. We also have Instagram going, so you want to say hi? Hi, Instagram. <laughs> say hi to Instagram. <laughs> okay, so hey, guys. Um, so I am actually going to use pink turquoise and probably glitter because it's like my favorite thing to paint with. So. Aw, Zelma said two of my favorite ladies. Oh, thank, thank you, Zelma. Zelma. <laughs> okay, so um, did you say, because I know these are the ones that you cut out, right? Mm -hmm. Do these, if I paint straight over these lines, will they show up? Yes, so okay. all of the etched blanks that we sell in our shop come with the design laser etched on the surface. So it's kind of like paint by, paint by number, on painting inside the lines. And when you paint, over this entire thing you'll still be able to see those lines in the surface and so it's it just makes it really easy because even if you get outside the lines you can still see them so oh i like that if you're doing a turquoise boot that'll be cute yeah i'm gonna add some of that little darker turquoise yeah. too so see how you can see the lines too i love that because i'm a messy painter anybody else on here a messy painter i am you have to do a black <laughs> boot with like turquoise on it Ooh, that'd be cute they don't have any brown and brown is what I would typically go for just because that's the color of my cowboy boots. Yeah. She said, what a treat to have you two together. Thank you, Rosella. We're here Aww. in Destin, Florida on a girl's like business trip. Um, we've done a little bit of play, a little bit of work while we've been here. It's been so much fun. And we just had the best donuts of our life. I just had a blueberry donut. It was covered in icing. What, what kind did you get? I had Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I didn't sneak a bite of that. Yeah. And then I've got another one in there that I haven't eaten yet. It's got vanilla frosting and spring, rainbow sprinkles. This, oh, this mine's is lemon. My next <laughs> one's lemon. This donut shop was the coolest place. It, they had like these, oh, I'm going to get paint on this thing. Um, they had these donuts that didn't have anything on them yet, and you picked the kind of donut you wanted, and they decorated it right there in front of you. They added the frosting and the toppings and everything. It was really neat. I just, I'm real excited about that lemon one, but honestly, I'm just going to be real honest, I'm afraid I'm going to have explosive diarrhea if I go to the second <laughs> one. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else with me? Oh, <laughs> I overshare. I apologize. For those of y'all that don't know me yet, I'm an overshare. It makes these girls' trips so much fun, though. We get to know quite a bit about Heidi. <laughs> Gretchen's in the background trying not to bust out laughing. I feel like explosive diarrhea on a fun trip. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes a fun trip when you know you have explosive diarrhea. It, it brings us all closer together. We, you know, we get to know the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah. <laughs> oh Hi, Tanya. Gosh. Hi, Tori. Oh, I see a lot of names I recognize. Oh, Tony, she says we love you, honey. <laughs> yeah, Tony knows I'm an overshare. <laughs> so um, the thing I love about stuff like this is you can see, like, I'm going to go back and add the detail stuff, but I'm not worried too much about all of this. So I'm going to use a one-inch brush and just kind of get a bunch of coverage first and then go back. Um, let's see, y'all got to visit the Brit Donuts here in California, or is it Carolina Beach, North Carolina? Ooh, Ellen, Ooh. that sounds good. We will be in North Carolina next month for our mastermind meetup. Yeah, I'm excited about that. We're going that. to Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, at uh, mid-February. Last time we went there, me, Pixie, and Bobby paraglided. Ooh. No, hang glided. Hand, was, hand glided? Yes, hang glided. It was so crazy. They um, took us up like they pulled it on a plane and Pixie is Perfect. deathly terrified of heights and she did it. She was terrified. Yeah. So is that 
Well, that's not similar to parasailing because parasailing is with a boat. So you went up in an airplane first? Well, the airplane pulls your line and you're like on a kite with a huh. tandem guy. And then they just, I mean, you go up like several thousand feet. Bobby went up 10,000 feet. I was, I went up that high when I skydived, but I was not going that high on a freaking kite. I was so scared. But once they got up there, it was really, really fun. Heidi is a thrill seeker. I do know that about her. You are too. I am, but you I don't are. know that I am as much as you are. I'm always afraid I'm going to throw up on something. Because uh, I get dizzy really easily, especially on things that spin. Who's um, our thrill seekers on here? Let's see if we have anybody. Mar Mary asked where we got the boots. I sell them in my shop at shopdoorhangers.com. Oh, by the way, we should probably mention the freebies that they can get. If you yes. will look in the video description... We have some freebies for you guys. So the one that I'm giving away is my free ebook. It's got all the tips on how to paint a door hanger from start to finish. So if you've never done a door hanger before, it's got everything you need to know in there. And then Heidi, tell them what you've got. Yeah, and then if you are interested in, I love teaching people how to make money doing online paint parties and stuff like this. So if you want to learn a little bit more about online paint parties and you need a checklist of what to do, um, go ahead and download my freebie and you'll be able to get all of the things you need for an online paint party. So just a little checklist you can print and then um, hang up somewhere so you'll know what to do. And um, so I'm going to take, I'm taking actually the, the, it's Bahama Blue. I'm going to use Bahama Blue and then I'm going to borrow some of Christie's paint. She has an aqua green here. And then I'm just going to kind of dab it so I have some shading. So hopefully that will start to come together. And um, Debbie says, you all have, y'all are having so much fun. Love it. Yes, it has been a very much needed trip. Don't you think, Tamara? <laughs> Tomorrow yeah. we're all getting massages. I'm so excited. We have found a group of people that will come to the house and give all of us massages. So when we work hard, we play even harder and we yes. spoil ourselves. <laughs> Tonight we all went out to an awesome dinner at a place called The Crab Trap. And I got my favorite dish ever, which is Cajun chicken pasta. What was it? K it was a bless I forget what it's called. Cajun chicken pasta, I think. I think that's what it's called. It's so good. Yeah, I got a steak. And um, I'm not like, um, I'm not a seafood person. And I lived in Florida for 10 years. But I just, um, I don't know. I just can't get past. We were talking about that. The texture. I don't like seafood either. I can't get past the texture. So yeah, I got some steak and vegetables. And they were good. Really good. Okay. So what color are you? Doing? Ooh. I'm having to go a little slower than you because I'm using the black. And yeah. even though the lines will show through the black, I'm afraid that if I want to paint over this black with some colors, it won't cover very well. So I'm being so cautious much. and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the black around everything first. Because I know certain colors don't cover black very well. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of just depend, especially yellow. I have the hardest time. Mm -hmm. And Tammy says, OMG, I could so use a massage. I know. That's how I feel like this part, whole part of my neck is just like really tight. So tense. <laughs> Definitely need a massage. Okay, I think I'm going to jump and paint my flowers next because I'm still not sure what colors I want to use on the bottom part of my boot. I've just done black so far. I may do gold or turquoise I don't even know but I think I'm going to go ahead and do some pink oh, flowers oh I like those colors I have like a very exciting yes this that one. Mm -hmm. and then this is that lighter so what color is that one carousel pink okay so this is carousel pink and honestly guys I'm just trying to get a big block of color down and then I'm going to go back and kind of spruce it up um and then as I was doing this I kind of touched a little bit of that turquoise and I think if I mix that turquoise with that pink it's going to give me kind of a really pretty purple so i'm going to test that out for y'all and see if i like it so as you are coming on and like tamara said earlier we do have a couple of freebies for you so um if you want like an online paint party checklist you can download that for me for free and then what was your free gift uh, a free door hanger ebook it walks you through everything you need to know about door hangers all of my favorite uh, my favorite kind of wood, what kind of brushes I recommend, all of that kind of stuff so that you're not having to figure any of it out yourself. That's awesome. Yeah, I love your door hangers. Oh, yeah, you're going to be a guest this next mm -hmm. month in my paint party headquarters. And I love, I'm not going to tell them what it is because I know some of the paint party headquarters are watching. <laughs> but I'm like already excited to try to use it for one of my parties. It's so cute. It was one of our most popular designs last year. So I think they're going to love it. Yeah, it's so cute. Um, somebody said, how do you get the captions off the screen? If you're watching from an iPhone or something, just swipe to the right and they should disappear. 
And it's so cool though, they're automatically, like I have people, if it doesn't come up, they're like, where are the captions? <laughs> See, I like to read it because I'm like, I love the communication in the comments. I like seeing who all's watching, you know, even as a viewer on somebody else's Facebook Live, I love mm -hmm. uh, keeping up with who all's watching. Hey, Stacy from Wilshire Collections. Hello. We'll be seeing her in North Carolina next month. Yay, I can't wait. <laughs> Hey, Crystal. She says, I love watching you guys paint. I need to quit reading comments for a second. And give oh, we, can, we can alternate. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your phone, Leanne says. Oh, maybe for the comments. Oh, yeah. I was thinking. Thinking. <laughs> That'll yeah. actually make us bigger. We'll get up bigger on your screen. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to use for green? Are we going to have to be creative and use turquoise for leaves or something? Because we don't have a green. We have this shade. Mm -hmm. And like maybe a few. Do we have a yellow and a blue? We have gold. And then yeah. we might have a bluish. No, that's black. I don't usually do a whole lot of color mixing, so this will be interesting. Yeah, I like to blob mix. Blob that's mix. Like a, you know, as you can see, like yours is like all perfect. Yeah, I'm like, so look at the different <laughs> color painting styles. And she's like all perfect, and mine's like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's, but that goes to show that anybody can paint because like there, there's different, and there's not one right way. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like you could blob it all over there and then follow mm -hmm. her, her methods to get a cute, yeah. Uh, finished piece whereas I like to put I like to color block almost I go in and I add my background colors and then later I'll add all my details so I don't do a whole lot of color mixing um, in my process but that's just what makes everything unique <laughs> I, think. I get real excited and I just I think it just takes out like my aggression and anxiety <laughs> it's like when I can do this and mix a bunch of colors it makes me so happy um, Michelle says I've tried Swiping it off, not working. Um, oh, no. Is it left or right? Does anybody know whenever you're you're swiping off the um, the captions? Um, let's see. Somebody's having trouble getting the ebook, the download of the oh, door snap. hanger ebook. Let me see if my did you say oh snap? Oh snap! Is that out of style? The people not say oh snap. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not with the the style. Pixie, yeah, she makes fun of me all the time. She's like, Mom, you are not <laughs> saying the right thing. But she's 14, so I guess that's her job right now mm -hmm. to, to tell me that. <laughs> Let me see if my link is working, maybe. Can anybody tell me if the link is working, if anybody downloaded the online checklist, if you'll let me know if it's working Oh, or no, not. mine's saying no internet connection, so I can't even check it. Oh, no. Do you well, have a link to my ebook, Gretchen? My um, Instagram went off, so I don't know if that was was working or not. Okay, I have a question for y'all. I'm thinking, should I do the bottom part? Like, I, I think I want to do like some black outlining in here, but should I do the bottom part gold or more blacks on the bottom too? What do y'all think? And um, Charlotte says she got to the ebook. Okay, good. Trudy, yes, we we're having a blast. Oh my gosh, I wish y'all were here. Paula says for closed caption quick. Okay, good. Some of y'all, if you're trying to, if you're having trouble with the closed caption, you can um, read the comments because I think says the checklist is working, the ebook is not working. Okay, okay. so Tamara's gonna try to get that going. Okay. And um, Tracy says, I paint like Heidi, just slap it on and detail it later. <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. And um, let's see. Yeah, if you push link, we should have the links already in the descriptions. Vicky saying black. Okay, thank you, Vicky. Yeah, I love getting y'all's y'all's ideas. Stephanie says North Carolina has some of the most beautiful waterfalls. I think it's called Waterfall Loop. It's a hike with nine different waterfalls. It's on my bucket list. Oh my gosh, I would love to go to that. Uh, how far is that from Kill Devil Hills? Is that something we could try to do? I don't know. What are these? Are these leaves? Yes, okay. they're different kinds of leaf colors of leaves. So. Okay, let's get creative. Okay, I'm looking still. Because I thought it was one thing and it may not have been. I may have typed, I manually typed in the link. So it was probably my error. Yeah, we'll get it on there for y'all. Don't worry. Yeah. What is everybody up to tonight? Let's see. Okay, we have black. They want black paint on that. Glitter, Priscilla, you have read my mind. Janine says, hey, Tamara. Hey, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Connie, North Texas in the house. <laughs> yeah, it was a really pretty day today. We're, we're in Florida right now and um, just kind of doing a, a girl's trip slash business trip. And um, it was really pretty. We went and took a walk on the beach and just had some fun and 
and then working. It's so crazy when we all get together. We we laugh a lot, but then it's funny. We all have our laptops and we're like shutting down the internet so that you're <laughs> on the internet at the same time working on stuff. It's kind of funny. Okay, so I got this going. I'm gonna go in in a second once that dries and actually add. So we kind of have some some flowers going. We don't really have a green. Okay, I found it. I'll put it in the comments. Oh, good. Camera is getting it set up. Oh, awesome, Holly. She says she's hanging her new Valentine's sign collection. I would love to see that. That sounds fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna go pink with these leaves. How do I get it to my just a second. I gotta be real creative here about how to get this to my to my computer so I can put it in everybody's comments because I just realized I only put it in the comments under my own video on, on I wonder if you could before. here. Well, we let go. you open up a digital? Yeah. Oh okay. I think I can grab it here. I was like, you can probably open up another little window. Okay, so I'm gonna try go on with black. Oh that plum's pretty. Yes, I really like it. That it's kind of a wine plum color. Okay, here we go. Copy, and I'm going to paste the ebook in the comments. You're so techy. <laughs> Yeah, she was showing me some stuff on store on Instagram stories right before and how to change a filter. I don't know if y'all know this, but Tamara's like a TikTok queen. Y'all should definitely I don't not follow her on TikTok yet. You I don't should. know if I'm the queen yet, but out of all the ladies in this group, uh, I have the most TikTok followers and I understand TikTok better than a lot of them do. Yeah, I am learning TikTok. And you kind of have to good. love surfing TikTok and then get addicted to TikTok in order to really be good at TikTok. And so I've spent a, a, a whole lot of time on TikTok. A lot of time on TikTok. <laughs> okay, it's not going to let me change it in the video description, but I can do that later. All right, I put it in the comments, so we should be good. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Sorry, I took the comment off. <laughs> so they were saying, we can't see you paint. Oh, it was missing the, the comment was in the way. <laughs> Sorry, okay. ladies. All right, I'm going to put a second coat real quick on this purple. This paint is drippy. It's oh, like yeah. It could be because I'm using a paper towel as a, as a plate. I don't know. Yeah, we have a lot of paper towels happening here. So, again, I know I always tell people here, like, I don't have an art studio. I'm like, you can literally paint anywhere. Just yeah. Put some paper towels down. You don't need a lot to happen. Um. Okay, let's see. Sorry about that, Pam. I think we got it all corrected now. Yes, Brenda. She says, are you paying attention to the comments? Yes, Brenda, we are. We just read your comment. We are trying so <laughs> hard. Trying. I'm getting paint on my shirt. And, you know, it's, I just put my pretty sleeves. Things are going south fast. <laughs> it's got to come off. Oh, no. Tamara, keep your clothes on. <laughs> I, like, reached up, and it dripped right in the blue paint. And I was like, no. That's funny. Is that white? Clear also. Yeah, I'm gonna put my boob in the paint in a minute. Did I? Oh my gosh, you did! <laughs> okay, now Tamara has. I can hear them laughing at me from the living room. They're <laughs> like <laughs> watching us. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> rubbing alcohol will get that out. So just in case y'all ever got like, yeah. Oh, my clothes are ruined, and I did not. Know I'm I teaching her new things. I'm learning so much. Not just TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. rubbing that's alcohol right. will get paint out of your clothing. Take a toothbrush and put a paper towel underneath it. It's you're good. You're all good. You didn't have to throw all those clothes out. I don't throw them out. Oh, I feel you like just it's a part of the the, it's the uniform. It's part, it's of, part of your brand. Yeah, it's part of the uniform. It's just you know the better they are. I have a pair of pants that actually I bought them with paint on them, and people think that I got paint on. I'm like, no, this is just how I wanted them. We could start our own clothing brand of paint splattered clothing. Just not on the boob. <laughs> Just not on the boob, because that is <laughs> right. That's yeah, a point. Area. Luckily, it's a dark color. It would be real awkward right that's now. A point. Okay, so Teresa says, do you have TikTok for business or the regular? Both. I actually talk about business and I talk about... Um, Oh, uh, do you just mean like, do I, I, it's not a personal account. It is a business account. Where you post to, right? Yeah, I post on there and I talk about like business for door hangers. It's all door hanger stuff. And uh, we talk about painting, and I, I showed my glow forge on there. 
But then like when I was in Gatlinburg, I also did a TikTok when we were in um, at Heidi's event and I showed a tour of the Dollywood suite. That was so cool. It was cool. Yeah. Um, so I started my TikTok and didn't really do anything with it. And then recently this week we hired Pixie, my daughter. She is 15, no, 14. She's about to be 15. And we hired her to do my TikTok. So right now our 135 40 followers are about to get a treat because Pixie's about to tick tock it up. They're gonna get to see some cool stuff. Kayla said, I taught my mom that tip and she was shocked. We both paint a lot about getting painted. Oh, yeah. Place. So, do you have to do it right away? No, like right now, I could actually go rinse this out with warm water, but mm -hmm. I don't want to like get up in the middle of the leak live and then come back with a wet shirt. So, <laughs> when I get home, I will just. <laughs> That's a different video. Yeah. <laughs> When I get out home, I will just soak it in, rubbing alcohol, and um, take it off with a toothbrush. Yeah, um, I know, like, I've had, you know, people at paint parties, I'm like, yeah, go rinse it right away, but I didn't realize later mm -hmm. that would work. So that's a good little tip. It does not work as well, though, if your clothes have been washed and dried. Like, once they go through the dryer, it kind of sets it. It's real hard to get it out. It's done. For yeah, her. it has, has to do it before you wash it. Hi, Judy. It's okay if you're coming in late. Where did the wood boot come from? We sell them at our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. We also sell the template. It's called a floral boot. So the templates work like this. If you are good at using a jigsaw or a scroll saw or even you have a laser cutter, you can put our files or use our templates on wood and cut your own shapes. And so it makes it very affordable to recreate these kind of things at home. But if you don't have a way to do that, you can get these from us with the design laser etched in the surface. So all you have to do is pick up a paintbrush and get started. Yeah, it's really so fun. Like I just, it's almost like my eyes relax and I just want to get for it, you know. So much fun. All right, now as you're coming on, if you do want to um, grab her ebook or the checklist, go ahead and grab it. It's in the, is it in the comments? It's in the comments. But oh, I don't, okay. I think I can. I don't know if I can pin it. I bet I could pin a comp. Well, I can on my phone, but I can't on here. Never mind. <laughs> it's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. If you, don't, if you don't see it, we'll go back later and add it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Charlotte. I like this. Hey, Pam. So, y'all, screen and sound a little fuzzy. Yeah, we're having a little trouble with the internet here. So, hopefully, it hopefully should be we'll fine on the replay. If you have to watch a replay, it should be fine then. Does it sometimes do that? Mm -hmm. like if it It'll straighten it out on, on replay for some reason. Yeah, we've had uh, just, you know, it'll be fine, and all of a sudden it'll shut down. So hopefully we'll be able to finish our boots so you can see the final. I'm going to use this turquoise as if it was green, so it's kind of like a little bit of a funky um, color leaf. Yeah, because so I was thinking maybe this, but it doesn't really go with the... Yeah, the it's too muted compared mm -hmm. to our pretty bright colors here. But I think I might do like a little bit of abstract and add some gold in some unexpected places. I was going to add like gold pretty. in the little areas, like the little side areas. So it kind of has, has a good, like, yeah, it kind of has like a good complementary. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like almost all the same color, but just in different places. These are all different shapes of leaves, so I'm going to have to even. I don't know. It's so fun. We're, we're having to work with limited paint colors here, so we're having to get extra creative i was so excited when i flew usually like at least one bottle of paint explodes in my <laughs> luggage none like everything was fine <laughs> everything was fine so i don't know what happened um let's see um girls what a great night to paint i am painting here too oh michelle what are you painting she said my hair might be the wife oh yeah my yeah Oh, what's in the ebook? It's a door hanger to uh, door hanger painting ebook. So everything you need to know about painting your first door hanger is in that ebook. From what kind of wood I used, all the supplies, and all the things. And then Heidi has a free before you. It's a checklist for how to do a online paint party. And right now with COVID and all of the uncertainty right now, not many people have been able to do in person paint parties. So that's yeah. going to be a great resource for those of you who haven't been able to do that who want to get into doing virtual paint parties. Yeah, and it's really fun, too. Like, it just depends on where you're at. And then even, you know, some areas where you're at, some people just aren't comfortable yet mm -hmm. doing their in-person paint parties. So it's a great outlet. And um, even just like right now, like, C 
see Michelle and you know all of these things Stephanie you're on here and Angie like it just it feels like you know we're with you even though you know we may be miles apart so it's really just a good outlet so if you're wanting to feel connected still and you've been stuck at home this is a great way to do that so you can download that checklist and, and get it Joel says hey 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 y'all <laughs> Okay. Oh no, Deborah's in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. I'm glad you're still able to watch us from the hospital, but I'm sorry. I hope you get well soon. Yeah, me too. COVID's no joke. No, it is not. Okay, what color? I think maybe I'll do the gold on this on this part here. I don't know. Oh, that'd be cute. Thank you. you can't go wrong with gold. And is that the 24 karat gold? That's my favorite. Yes. Oh my gosh, 24 karat gold and glitter. That is where I live. I love that. So I'm just going to kind of go in with this um, electric pink and just kind of blob in some colors. I do love this color palette. Like on my, not my, on my um, what do you call this? The napkin paper, paper, paper towel. towel. <laughs> so I couldn't think of simple words. On the paper towel, it's a really pretty color combination here. Yeah. I picked in second picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Texas Art and Soul link is coming in clear. Clear. Oh, so if it's coming in clearer over on Heidi's page, then go over to Texas Art and Soul and watch there. It's funny because we're only using one device to stream it, but it's coming in to both pages. So who knows? Technology. Yep. You just gotta. You just gotta go with it. Hope it works. Pink's getting too much. To change that up just a little. I'm getting all outside. This gold. It's kind of <laughs> sticky, crazy. so it's, I got like I'm having a hard time not making a mess. It looks with it. pretty, very pretty. Okay, I need to go back with my plum. I'll go back and add a bunch of details to my flowers later. You love the boots? They're so cute. Michelle, the link to the checklist is in the video description. So you'd feel tap at the top of the video. You'll get to read like what the video caption is, and it should be up there. Where do I get the checklist? Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Answering as I. <laughs> That's what she was talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm doing my um, leaves that plum color. Ooh. I know it's like, idea. you know, it's non -traditional, traditional, but it'd be pretty. Yeah. I like doing that, like painting stuff. Like whenever I paint waves or trees, I like painting them colors that are not green or blue, you know, just painting them totally. Um, were they outlined? Yes. So um, if you see it up close, and at the very beginning we showed this, but see how they have the outlines? So then we just kind of go in and add to it. Um, oh, good. Yeah, so they were, Victoria, they were outlined. So talking about non-traditional colors in painting, I think it's important to point out that, like, right now, paint can be kind of hard to find in paint stores. So yes. showing that you can paint things like this with not your typical colors or um, like for instance, these these designs that we're painting are offered in templates in our shop. We always have a color mock-up to a to accompany the template. But right now, I am not painting it anything like that color mock-up. I'm using completely different colors. So this is just you know a good example of how if you're working with very limited colors, you can still come up with something really cool looking. Yeah, and that's what I love so much. You know, when people say something like, "Oh my gosh." Or paint party is going to go away or online paint party is going to go away. And I'm like, the two things that are always missing are toilet paper and paint. It's because people <laughs> want that. They want to paint like, you know, now more than ever. Like that's what we are doing is creating at home. So not only can you make money from it, but it's super therapeutic. It's like a good yes. stress reliever. Oh, yeah. I love it so much. A friend of mine told me that she started painting and she uh, wears like a blood of like a blood pressure monitor. <laughs> she, <laughs> says, she wears a blood pressure monitor and she said she monitored her um, her blood pressure before painting and right after painting and there was a huge drop in her blood pressure like to where she relaxed. Are she you has serious? Problems. Yeah, absolutely. That is amazing. I mean, I feel cool. it. You know, like I feel the the um, calmness from it. Yeah, but I've never... Not like playing like catchphrases at Heidi. Oh my gosh. So apparently I am awful at game. Okay, so I'm really good at juggling. 
And I am really good at, at skating, roller skating. I'm okay at ice skating, but roller skating, yeah, I will lap some people. But catchphrase, if y'all played this game, it is the stupidest game on it's the so planet. Fun. It is not. If you're good at it. I almost had an anxiety attack. I was so bad. It's like it starts ticking and you feel like you're holding something that's going to it's it just it's like holding a grenade. It just freaks me out. And and then and then they get mad at me because I can't answer. And and I'm like the weak link on the team. Nobody was really mad at her. That was all in her head. But she's competitive <laughs> enough, it was making her mad that she wasn't good at it. It was so bad. So bad. So they ended up, you know, putting me as an alternate, which meant they passed it over me. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Michelle said her Walmart started carrying deco art Americana paints. Ooh, yay. Those are the best ones, too. I, know. I love those. <laughs> okay, Megan said, I, I got to make this bigger so I can read it. She said, my in-laws are letting me use their pool shed so I can be able to have paint parties since everything is shut down again. That's awesome. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Now, let's see. How am I going to get creative with how I'm doing these flowers? I'm just kind of outlining them first, and I'm going to add some white detail and some golds. I'm mixing a couple of my colors together, like the dark and the, the dark purpley color and then the pink, and then I'm just kind of adding little squigglies inside each little, oh, inside oh. Each little flower. Yeah, it's fun how you can just kind of go for it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing about flowers. Like, I am not a realistic painter by any means. Me either. And I love just, you know, making it fun and cartoony. And That's your style. You know, some people are yeah. realistic, and I'm, it's not my style to be super realistic. Yeah, I remember one time at an artist um, that I was working with on a mural, and um, she was really good, just really artistic and um, way, just way talented. And I remember like kind of not degrading how my art was, but I was saying like, you know, um, you know, oh my gosh, I'm just not as good as you. Like, you know how we all get that comparison yeah. game. And she goes, Heidi, she's like, you've got to stop. She's like, you've got to value what you bring to the table. Like we mm -hmm. all have something different. And she said, what you do is bring in joy. And then, you know, as we finished the mural and I mean, everybody was like so excited about it and the kids loved it. And I thought, you know, that's so true. Like we all have a different style and if we all have the same style, it'd be boring. As they know? say, wouldn't it be so boring if all the art in the world looked like the set, like, like the same painter painted it? Yeah. So, yeah. So I think we have to remember that. Like I know a lot of times people are like, oh, I'm not as good as so-and-so, but it's okay. Like just practice and mm -hmm. be your own style. I think we all underappreciate our own work compared to like I would much rather have one of your art pieces hanging in my living room than one of my own because I get oh, tired of looking yeah. at my own art, you know? Mm -hmm. Something about it, it's like it's not as inspiring to stare at my own art as it is to look at yeah. somebody else's. Yeah, I love just seeing other people's stuff. Michelle said, I love the two different styles of painting between the both of y'all. Oh, <laughs> it's like the same boot, but we have totally different little. I started adding some little gold flecks to my leaves and my flowers. I'm not done yet. But so cute. Cool. Now I think I'm going to start adding some black and white because I always add black and white. I'm do, I do kind of like you're doing where I add like a little bit of black outlines and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. A little. I'm going to put some turquoise little pops in here. At the top, little turquoise areas. I love some tur I've got some turquoise boots this last year, and they are so cute. <laughs> I bet they are. Yeah, I had to try on Tamara's boots. She brought some cute boots. We found out we wear the same boot size. I was like, let me try them on. You got to see what they feel like. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is a fun painting. I love this. It's very relaxing. We, oh yeah um somebody was asking earlier if i do wholesale on my wood blanks i don't want to say anything not <laughs> yet but we will soon um so we are in the process of building a shop on our property where um, my husband's going to come home and run laser machines and stuff and so we will have the ability to crank out a lot more door hangers than before so we will finally be able to awesome. offer a wholesale so i'm so excited about that Right now, the only thing we have done is the, the land is ready to start, 
but the building is being manufactured somewhere in Alabama. And so it's a steel building. So we have to wait for that to be manufactured before they can actually start the build. So are you excited? I am. And so I'm cool. one of those people that when I decide I'm ready for something, I want it right now. Like I don't want to wait four yeah. or five months for them to get ready to build it. I want it to be built today. <laughs> so I'm like <laughs> chomping at the bit. I'm so excited. Can't oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to be so fun. That's awesome. Is your husband excited about cutting all the blanks? I don't know if he's excited about cutting all the blanks, but he is excited about having a big old shop to work out of and having some ownership out of our business because it's always kind of been my baby. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once he starts working in it, it will he'll feel a little bit more like it's our business. And so I love that he's going to become involved with it. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. OK, so I'm trying to add a little bit of gold highlighting because I got to use this 24 karat gold into the boot just for some details. I think I'm finally like getting ahead of you. I was behind <laughs> you for a minute there, but now I'm like almost done. Yeah, so, I know. I got to catch up. Catching up. I get to where like I could I could make it fast or I could just keep painting for two hours. Yeah, just you know? keep adding little touches there mm -hmm. and there. Just like keep messing with it. Okay, so I think I'm done with mine. Y'all want to see how cute. I did gold and black on the boot and then pink, purple, and teal on the top of it. You know, you forgot. What did I forget? Glitter. Oh, of course. <laughs> Y'all know, those of you who watch me regularly on Southern Adornments Decor, I don't use a ton of glitter. I am a huge glitter. I user. like glitter, but I don't use it that much. But I should. Just make sure it's dry. You know the drill. Yeah. The parts of it's dry. Yeah, I love some glitter. Glitter and gold are like my two favorite things to use. And so I try. It's hard sometimes whenever things are still wet, but I try whenever I can. Yeah, it. some of mine's still wet and some of it's not. So I'm like being impatient and that dabbing it in places. But. Make it a few more highlights and then I'm almost done. And then we'll show y'all. And then those of y'all that just jumped on, um, we have a free gift for you. So if you want to learn all about um, painting door hangers, check out Tamara's ebook. And if you want to learn about doing online paint parties, check out my free checklist. And both of those are free for you. And then um, what are the size of the boots you're doing? They are about 12 inches. <laughs> that was like a hand and a half. <laughs> They're about 12 inches. These would be really great to either hang on like a kid's door um, if you wanted to like hang them on a kid's bedroom door or you could use them as like a wreath attachment if you're a wreath maker. Oh, that'd be so cute. Mm -hmm. For spring too. Um, or you could put them on like a porch leaner sign. So I don't know if you guys have seen those porch leaners that say welcome and mm -hmm. they leave out the O and they Velcro on a different piece. And so 12 inch pieces are always really good for that, that part that you change out throughout the year. Um, but I'm sure you guys could think of some other great ways to use these. I love using pieces that are 12 inches or smaller for like decorating your mantle or like mm -hmm. a, a tiered tray or something like that. Someone even mentioned that it might be cute um, next to like next to your back door where you keep all your boots or your shoes mm -hmm. like next to a shoe rack. Yeah. So I can have like all my boots up and then have my little boot hanger there. It would be so cute. Okay, let me add some glitter. You have some glitter over there? Did I've added it, it in little. Oh, no, I didn't use it all. I've got oh, a little bit right, right there. I feel like I'm keeping your hand on me. Um, Catherine says, I really enjoyed being in both of your groups. Wish I had more time to get my business off the ground. I work too much at my job. Well, you know what? If you um, start working on that side gig, maybe you wouldn't have to work so much at your regular job. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes too, like I'll tell people, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so hard because I remember when I was teaching full time mm. and doing paint party business full time on the side. Like it, it definitely takes some dedication for sure. But yeah, if you're definitely interested, go for it. But you can see how just you know, just I mean, we basically used the same colors, just did a little bit of reversing and how they can turn out. So y'all have to check it out and do your own boots. So you can get the templates at. Tamara's shop and so they go where to buy the templates shopdoorhangers.com you can get the paper template that you print out at home and 
uh, trace on your wood to cut your own shape, or you can order the actual wood piece to be sent to you. So Yeah, and then go ahead and download the free checklist if you want to learn about online paint parties, and then your door hanger ebook. So yep. you can get it there. All right, guys, thanks so much for being here. Anything else you want to? I don't think so. Thanks for joining us. I'll be back on my page tomorrow morning for Friday Fab 5. So for those of you who are regulars, I'll see you in the morning. Right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.